Audio Jungle. Today I will show you an action movie in 2019, Avengers Endgame. In the opening, Clint Barton is showing his girl toxophilism on his disconnected homestead while his significant other readies an outing lunch for them. Out of nowhere, Clint's little girl disappears and the remainder of Clint's family breaks down, alongside half of all life across the universe, the consequence of Thanos snapping his fingers subsequent to gaining each of the six limitlessness stones. Cloud and Tony Obvious are abandoned in space following their loss by Thanos on Titan, yet are gotten back to Earth via Toon Danvers and rejoined with Natasha Romanoff, Bruce Pennant, Steve Rogers, Rocket, Thor, and James Rhodes. The group figures out how to take the Endlessness Stones back from Thanos and use them to invert his activities, yet learn after finding him that he had utilized the Stones a second opportunity to obliterate them, forestalling their further use. He lets the excess Vindicators know that he did as such to try not to involve the Stones for additional odious purposes. Angered, Thor decapitates Thanos, saying it's what he ought to have done in Wakanda. After five Five years, Scott Lang escapes from the quantum domain to find that his girl Cassie is currently a young person, and that Trust Van Dyne, alongside half of the populace, has vanished in the snap. Rogers has been driving anguish directing meetings for survivors actually battling with the impacts of the snap, while Romanoff is resolutely overseeing both Earth and the remainder of the universe with the assistance of Rhodes, Danvers, Akoi, Rocket, and Cloud. Lang goes to Romanoff and Rogers and makes sense of that while five years had passed for them, just five hours had passed for him in the quantum domain and that time extends much distinctively there. The three go to Unmistakable, who is currently bringing up a kid with pepper pots and makes sense of their hypothesis that the quantum domain can be utilized to travel once more into the past and take the boundlessness stones before Thanos can gather them. Unmistakable at first oddballs their proposition with worry about taking a chance with his family and the harmony he has found, yet subsequent to reflecting upon the deficiency of Peter Parker chooses to test hypothetical models that would work with Lang's quantum burrow, ultimately tracking down one that works. With obvious now ready the leftover Vindicators set off to reassemble their group. Bruce Pennant has now embraced the mass as a piece of him and has merged his own cognizance and the mass together into one. Romanov, subsequent to hearing reports from Rhodes of a professional killer that works with comparative strategies to Barton, passes on to track down him. Barton, consumed with pain after the deficiency of his family, has been working under the mantle Ronin while severely slaughtering criminal cartels and packs all over the planet to attempt to work on the world that is still left. Natasha tracks down him in Japan, and after some persuading, he consents to rejoin the group to attempt to bring his family back. Flag and Rocket go to the modest community of New Asgard, where Valkyrie and the last overcomers of Asgard have settled. They there find Thor, who has become overpowered by responsibility over neglecting to kill Thanos in Wakanda. Thor has become overweight, his hair and facial hair are congested, and he invests his free energy eating unhealthy food, becoming inebriated, and playing Fortnite with his companions Korg and Meek. Thor hesitantly consents to get back to the Vindicators after some persuading from Rocket and Standard, subsequent to testing the quantum time machine on Barton, who affirms that it works. The Justice Fighters are brought together with an arrangement. Flag, Rogers, Lang, and Unmistakable set out to recover the time, Psyche, and Space Stones during the Clash of New York in 2012. Standard goes to the Sanctum Sanctorum, where he is educated by the Old One that requiring some investment stone from her course of events would forestall Stephen Weird's future endeavors to prevent Kesilius from annihilating the laws of nature. Notwithstanding, when Flag tells her that Weird surrendered the Time Stone enthusiastically to Thanos, she permits Standard to make them infer Peculiar had planned for a particular grouping of occasions to happen for Thanos to be crushed. Flag likewise guarantees the Stone's revisitation of their legitimate timetables to forestall any evil impacts. Lang, an obvious endeavor to take the Space Stone after the Justice Fighters seize it from Loki, Lang gives Unmistakable's previous self a gentle heart failure by pulling a circuit in his fake heart, while Obvious takes the satchel lodging the Tesseract when no one is looking. Their arrangement is upset when Unmistakable drops the portfolio after he is unintentionally hit by the mass. Loki then, at that point, takes the Space Stone and uses it to get away from care. Rogers prevails with regards to taking the brain stone from secret Hydra specialists, yet finds his previous self, who botches him for a hidden Loki. Subsequent to overcoming past Steve, Rogers gets back together with Unmistakable and Lang, who currently should sort out one more method for getting the space stone without running out of the restricted stockpile of Pym particles that permit them to go through the quantum domain. Lang gets back to the present with the brain stone while Rogers and Distinct devise an arrangement to take the space stone from a U.S. armed force establishment during the 1970s. 
activities while additionally taking further vials of PIM particles to make the excursion back home. While there, Rogers cites Peggy Carter and Obvious has a significant discussion with his dad Howard. Rocket and Thor travel to Asgard to recover the Truth Stone before Malekith utilizes it against the Nine Domains. While in Asgard, Thor is reminded that his mom, Frigga, would kick the bucket soon and gets an opportunity experience with her while Rocket takes the Aether, the disintegrated variant of the Truth Stone. From Jane and Courage, the two revisitation of Earth after Frigga directs Thor and he recovers his sledge and Jolner, thrilled to find that he is as yet deserving of it. Cloud and Rhodes travel to Morag to take the Power Stone before Peter Plume does. As Rhodes gets back to the present with the Power Stone, Cloud breakdowns and stays on Morag. With two consciousnesses working on Cloud's frameworks, Thanos and Black Throat find the presence of future Cloud and go to grab her. Cloud acknowledges what has occurred and attempts to caution the others, yet is past the point of no return. Thanos examines her recollections and finds the Justice Fighter's arrangement and sends the more faithful past Cloud back to the present as a covert operative. Barton and Romanov travel to Vormir to recover the Spirit Stone. However, are clashed when Red Skull, attendant of the stone, illuminates them that it must be recovered by forfeiting somebody they love. Of, the two battle about which will make the penance, with Romanov at last accepting any consequence, while a distressed Barton gets back to Earth with the Spirit Stone. After everybody has gotten back to the present on the planet, Distinct, Rocket, and Flag set off on a mission to create a glove to use the stones, one developed from the equivalent nanotech of obvious most recent Iron Man suit. Flag volunteers himself to employ the glove and bring back everybody that vanished in Thanos' snap, thinking that he can endure both the gamma radiation and the enormous aggravation and injury welcomed on by utilizing the stones. He succeeds, however they are very quickly gone after by Thanos, who has been brought to Earth by the Fraud Cloud, annihilating the quantum entryway all the while. Thanos diminishes the Vindicator's central command to rubble, separating the group and making the glove fall into Barton's insurance. The previous Cloud is killed by her future self as she endeavors to take the Endlessness Stones from Barton, while Rogers, Thor, and Obvious face Thanos, who concludes he will rather utilize the Limitlessness Stones to obliterate the universe and make one in his vision. The three battle Thanos one on one, with Rogers affirming Thor's hypothesis that he deserve employing M. Jolner, yet are each outclassed by Thanos. Not long after Thanos' military grounds on the planet, T'Challa shows up before Rogers, alongside the Vindicators as a whole and different partners restored by Pennant, prior to sending off an attack on Thanos and his military. After an extended fight during which Unmistakable is brought together with Parker and Plum is brought together with past Gamora, Thanos grapples with various Vindicators for the Limitlessness Stones. At the point when he's limited by Wanda Maximoff's energy, Thanos orders Glaive to have his boat fire numerous energy impacts, almost obliterating the Vindicator's endeavors. Commander Wonder returns, taking out Thanos' boat while battling for control of the glove. Utilizing the nanotech from the new glove, Obvious moves the vastness stones from Thanos' hand to his own and utilizes them to transform Thanos and his whole armed force into debris, victoriously expressing I'm Iron Man. Parker and Potts console distinct as he kicks the bucket from openness to the stone's radiation. Following the fight, the Vindicators hold a memorial service for Obvious, whose imprint I curve reactor is drifted out on the lake close to his home. Barton and Wanda Maximoff take comfort in the way that Romanoff and Vision, who didn't return in the snap, would be pleased with their triumph over Thanos. Thor makes Valkyrie the sovereign of Asgard and joins the gatekeepers of the world to track down his actual reason, liberated from the weight of eminence and authority without precedent for his life. Barton gets back to his family and Parker gets back to school, where he is brought together with his dearest companion, Ned. In the meantime, Rogers is entrusted to go into the past to return the stones and Thor's sledge to their unique courses of events, however chooses not to get back to the present and to rather carry on with the remainder of his life in the past with Carter. A concise flashback shows Rogers and Carter in a conventional-looking house, at long last sharing the dance they never got to have in their lounge room, really cheerful finally. 